When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Kelly, you want to tackle this one? Okay, so she says, help me, Ben and Kelly. I've never been one to seek out drama. It just always seems to find me. Ah, okay. So I've been sitting on this piece of information for a few months now. Don't know if now is the right time to spill it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Last year, I got new neighbors next door. It's a husband and wife, no kids, they're active, and I've been slowly getting to know them. Well, over the past several months, I've observed whenever my neighbor, we'll call him Dave, Dave, goes out of town, another car shows up in the driveway. Huh. It's there the entire time, disappears when Dave gets back into town. What is that, Dave? Well, I'm not a nosy person. But one night, I was walking past a window, saw a gentleman without a shirt on, who definitely was not Dave. Not Dave! Walked over to my neighbor's window, pulled the blinds. (laughs) I'm not naive. I know she's up to no good. Well, her husband, Dave, is away. So here's my question. I'm getting ready to move. Oh. I'm selling my house, moving to a different area of town. Do I tell Dave before I go what I've seen? Or do I just keep it to myself, let their business be their business? I don't know either of them that well, but I almost feel like it's my obligation to say what I know. Wow. Emily. <laughs> Uh, Emily, also not her real name. That's in quotes. Uh, all right, so sure. Dave, Emily, not real names. Oh my gosh! See, like, uh, like at first, I'm just like, you know what? Let their business be their business. You don't know who yes. this shirtless guy is. He could be her cousin. Right. He could be her brother. He yes. could be whoever. You know, right? I mean, she didn't see any romance happening. She saw implied man. romance maybe happening. Well, she, she, she saw shirtless man, which again, could be brother coming in to stay while Dave is away to help protect the fam. We didn't see any kissing or anything like that, right? Well, yeah, I guess not. And if she does it, like if this was her best friend, uh huh, maybe. But I feel as though... We just walk away. So, Kelly, you're saying, you know what, even though you're moving, just yeah. just move out, move, just move let, let their business be their business, and yes. just take take your stuff and uh, move to a different neighborhood, and hopefully you'll have as much action in your next neighborhood as what's happening next door to yours, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, I, I would oh be God. conflicted more if this was uh, her right. best friend. Living rather than next door. Yeah, rather than just, you know, a new neighbor that she's exactly. just getting to know. Okay. Acquaintances. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, uh, I think we just we just move. We just let that mystery live. We just go about our business. We go and get to know our new neighbors and hope that there's no shenanigans going on there. Well, Emily, for the sake of our show, I'm gonna go ahead and say um yes. Go go tell Dave. No. Just e- even though even though you're gonna look nosy, even though you're gonna no. look kind of weird and crazy, and he's probably that not is, even gonna believe you. That is bad advice. But I would say, okay, listen. I'll tell you what you need to say to Dave coming oh, up. Okay? okay. This is oh, how you're gonna, you're gonna this is how tell you, Emily the whole speech. Yep. This is how you frame it so you don't oh, look like a complete. Crazy person. Okay. This is bad advice. I feel like this is bad advice. <laughs> no, bad advice. Come, it's group therapy. You decide whether or not you take our advice. We're going to get it. You, take, okay. you just decide whether or not you're going to take it. All right. That's coming up next. Neighbor Dave, before she moves out of her house and out of the neighborhood, because she has it on good suspicion, and she says she's not, quote, nosy, that his wife could be cheating on him with some random shirtless guy that she saw over there when Dave was away. Listen, I'm on record as saying I'm team do not tell, just move, move on with your life. Yeah. Okay, because we don't know the backstory. This could be your brother. You know, this could be whatever. There there could be a myriad of explanations because she didn't actually see any sort of romance. She just saw a shirtless guy who was not Dave. Not Dave, shirtless guy pulling the blinds as she is 
walking past a window. So I... Well, and this car that was there the entire time, but then would disappear when Dave came back. Yeah. and Yes, and I it, get it. It looks bad. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a, apparently has happened more than once. So... Yes. Emily is all like, I almost feel like it's my obligation to say what I know. So... But Kelly, she doesn't know these people that well. I know. Kelly says no. Just let no. your business be your business. Let their business be theirs. Go move. Start your life somewhere in a different neighborhood. Now, I say, why don't you, if curiosity is going to be eating at you for the rest of your life, why don't oh you gosh. casually, like when you see Dave outside, you know, be outside, water your plants or get ready to mow your lawn or something, and be like, hey, Dave, good seeing you. Uh... Who's the, who's, uh, I, I noticed a, a, a car in your driveway when you weren't here. Do you know, do you know whose that is? And. Okay, so you wouldn't I, say, hey, who's the shirtless guy that was hanging out with your family while no, you were No, I would go, I would go with the whole, hey, I noticed a car. I just wanted to make sure everything was all right. You know, while you were away, every time you're gone, there's just this car that shows up, and I just don't recognize it. I was just concerned for your safety. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, no. I uh -uh. I just feel like that. Uh -uh. I'm just saying, Emily, that's the approach that I I would recommend. Oh, God. I have never been in this situation. You would not say that. You would never. That's what I'm saying. You would never do that, though. I've never been in this situation. But I'm just saying, for the sake of our show, I think you should probably say oh. something. <laughs> for the sake of a follow-up? Yes. Because you want to know what happened? Yes, I want to know. she said something? <laughs> okay. Yes, I want to know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Emily, I don't, right. I don't know if, if you're getting what you need out of this show. Kelly says... That's bad advice. Definitely not. Just no. go on, be your bad self, and yes. move. Just leave... Go get your drama from movies and TV shows. Just lose yourself in that. I would not insert myself in what could be like that shirtless guy could be doing into a neighbor. (laughs) 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 Yes, no, just walk away. All right, so so Emily Kelly says on record, don't do it. Just walk away. I say on record, do it, and 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 then follow up with us. us.